It's been a busy year for GM Performance Parts since the 2009 SEMA show and they've opened with a bang and two new cars on the lot. Tell us a bit about this one, Dr. Jamie Meyer. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by. This is an incredible new truck and, you know, we don't do trucks very often at GM Performance Parts, so this was a really fun project. And this is a specially constructed vehicle. It's built from a Dynacorn repop body. You know, we can build brand new 55 to 57 pickups now, licensed through GM Restoration Parts. It's got some uh, classic industries parts and some cars, cars incorporated parts in it. Well, we built the truck to showcase the newest E-Rod engine, the 5.3, exactly as it comes out of the Silverado. So 315 horsepower, 335 foot-pounds of torque, all packaged to run together and be emissions compliant. That's what E-Rod's all about. Well, I bet the owner's pretty happy that you got your hands on this car. Yeah, you know, that was a great partnership with uh, Ken Lingenfelter and his company, Lingenfelter Performance. We came to them and talked to them about uh, the concepts of this truck with an E-Rod engine, and Ken Lingenfelter did an incredible job. Of course, the design work done by Dave Ross, my favorite designer, right from the GM Design Studios. And, uh, boy, if you want a nice 55 truck to go cruising and be emissions compliant, I think these guys did a great job. All right, I think we'd better go and have a chat to these guys and get their take on it. Well, here's the man that's lucky enough to own this beast behind me, Ken Lingenfelter, mate. What's it been like working with GM for Performance Parts to build this project? This project has been a blast. We've had a great time with it right from the start. Uh, as you can see, the product came out really good. Obviously, the E-Rod is the important part of the project. What, is, what are your thoughts on that? Well, you know, the E-Rod engine really makes the truck. Uh, the fact is that the car hobby is under a lot of attack from a lot of different areas, and there has to be an answer to the engine emissions and I think General Motors has done a great job with the C-Rod project from the get-go. How much input did you get into the final product? Well, I got quite a bit of input. Uh, the fact of the matter is I was being asked all along the way about color and everything else and uh, I'm a true believer David Ross is a, just a tremendous designer and did a wonderful job on this truck. Well, I think it's time to go and have a chat with this guy now because it seems like he's been doing some pretty good work. So from what I've been told, this guy is car designing royalty. I'm talking about David Ross, who designed this beautiful 55 Chevy pickup, mate. What made you decide to go with the 55 pickup? Oh, you know, the 55 pickup is obviously a classic design. You know, how often do you see an old truck, truck like this from Chevrolet reemerge in something in such a fresh new form? It was a lot of fun uh, doing something and reemerging it as a contemporary statement. Start to finish, how long typically does it take you to design something like this? Well, you know, I'd love a lot of time, but the, in the real world with GM, we build these things very quickly. I think we actually had a lot of time on this. We spent 11 weeks. And you get all your parts from GM Performance Parts, including the E-Rod? Oh, yeah. Uh, GM Performance Parts support the, uh, all the, the, the hardware and the software to make the engines run. We actually uh, used a Trailblazer SS chassis, which is right off the GM, you know, right out of a truck. The thing fit the truck. We had to make some minor modifications, but it actually is great because it fits the truck and it looks right in the truck. And it's a modern day chassis that drives and rides like anything, like a brand new car down the street. So it's, uh, it's really a nice uh, mix. Nice one. Thanks for that. That's David Ross, fantastic designer. For any more information about the components in this truck, head to the website gmperformanceparts.com. So the lucky man that owns this car is Lance Stander from Super Performance, all the way from South Africa, mate. Yeah. Tell me, this is like a dream car for you, isn't it? Oh, it's just unbelievable. I, as I say, I've got to pinch myself, and you've heard that a hundred times, but you really do have to pinch yourself to believe we're standing here in General Motors booth um, with General Motors Performance products. It's just amazing for us. This is our first GM product. We started putting GM engines in some of our other products to go to the UK. Uh, our Daytona Coupe has LS3, LS7 in. Um, and that's worked for us really well. But this project was a dream. And then of course with a link to GM Performance Parts, which helped make it happen, GM saw the, re the, 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 the need for it, for their, their whole product line that they could now sell into the aftermarket, into cars like this, specially constructed vehicles, which has become a very big industry. Well, there you go, that's Lance Stander, a proud owner of a fantastic car. It's one of the hits down here for SEMA 2010. To check out some of these components that are in this car, head to the website, gmperformanceparts.com. Good on you, Lance. Thank you. Thank you very much.